Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to an exclusive first look at the brand new cosmic monster, Super Fox. This is our brand new Pierce monster. I am super excited. Huge shout out to Social Point for giving me the chance to do this exclusive first look. They've given me everything I need to take this monster to rank 5, level 150, all the food I need to feed him, and any gems I use will be reimbursed for the purpose of this video. Let's go, Fox! Brand new light cosmic Pierce attacker. Look at that, instant transmission. And so for those of you that are not aware, this monster is based off our old community manager, which is super awesome to get a monster like this. And I have done an analysis on this monster, so if you want to check it out, there's going to be a link in the description below. Also, I did a video on how to get maze coins to make sure that you get this monster. You absolutely do not want to miss out on this monster. From what we've seen in the Monster Legend leaks, there's some pretty powerful monsters coming out. We're getting a new Taunt slash Megaton monster. We're getting a Dodge Area monster. We're getting a monster that can do Mega Deny, so two turn possession, so having a monster that can pierce and maybe just take them out and target whoever you want to is going to be super valuable moving forward in the game. Prior to Super Fox, we do have Vanos 2099. He was behind a paywall, so a lot of you guys may not have him. And we also have Rasulka, although for those newer players out there, you're not going to be able to get old cosmic monsters. So this is your chance. It's a maze. It's free to play friendly, so make sure you watch that video. Again, link in the description to make sure you get Super Fox. With that being said, let's talk stats. This monster has a power stat of 7656, and this monster has a speed stat of 5841. I'm talking about both of these stats because they are actually tied with that of Vanos and tied with that of Rosulka, so it's in the attacker category. The bad thing about this monster is that life stat 67558, this is on the lower end, the very very far end. It's the lowest life stat of cosmic monsters. It's tied with a couple other monsters like Spitfire, Lord Platypus, and a few others. Thunder Kong I think as well. And typically some of the monsters that have this low life stat, they tend to have the revival essence. Unfortunately, Fox doesn't have the revival essence. In terms of the trait, you are immune to blind, which can help you out against um, basically blind and total blind. Um, immune to nightmares, I guess that could help you against like if you're facing a witch cat that starts off with nightmares against you and the witch cat's banner. Um, when I look at those two traits, I think of Fompied Astral. You know, she can do blind and nightmares, so it's kind of like a counter to her. And then at rank three, there's that status caster Pierce. And once again, you are a light monster. So you're going to be taking on Shellys, you're going to be taking on Lindworms, you're going to be taking on Fompied Astrals. You have an elemental advantage, so you can take down those monsters. You can probably one-shot them, depending what runes you give this monster, how strong this monster is. So I can definitely see this monster being a main go-to defense monster. Potentially might replace Vanos. Maybe you'll see double pierce defenses because if Vanos can get a turn in and Super Fox get a turn in and they both do their powerful AoE skills, you're going to dish out lots of damage. So maybe Megaton double pierce is going to be a main defense. Um, but in terms of offense, the fact that you can target whoever you want to and pretty much knock them out, that is going to be super powerful moving forward. Alright, so I want to start off by talking about Relics. So Relics-wise, we're going to go with the Laser Beam Sword to increase your damage output. You could also go with the Cane Sword if you are worried about her squishiness. You know, she can heal every time she, or basically twice when she deals damage. But we want to increase your damage output. And for the Masks, honestly, um, you'd probably want to go Jasta Star Mask. Jasta Star Mask. You can also do Eeltron's Mask. Actually, there's a lot of Relics you can utilize. Look, after being damaged, wear is under control status effect. If you're in a position where you know you're going to get hit with some sort of deny because remember you're only immune to nightmares and blind so if you know you're going to get den you're denied well you're better off draining enemy stamina this also can heal you as well but just utilize whatever you think is going to be more appropriate for the situation i like jazz stars mask because it can drain stamina especially because you have the pierce mechanic so you can land that aoe skill so we're going to do that i already leveled her up to level 130 and let's talk about Oh, actually, one more thing I want to mention on the relics. There's going to be a sword coming out, um, Krampus' sword, that can actually drain stamina if an enemy is frozen. So if you can partner this up with any monster that can freeze as well. Because, again, you have the pierce mechanic, so um, you're going to have no problem like landing a hit and making sure that your relic activates. All right. Be kind deals moderate light damage to one enemy. 22 stamina cost, zero cooldown. Um, good for when you get hit with CDA. K-Food Lover, another skill that's good for when you get hit with CDA. For the most part, I don't think you're going to be running this skills. The biggest argument to these skills would be if the enemy um, can activate your cooldowns, then you're probably really good running one of these skills. If an enemy can remove your positive effects and activate your cooldowns, you know, K-Food Lover can be a good um, attack against a Megaton Shelly, for example. Um, so just kind of use these to fit the situation, but I don't think they'd be main skills that you would run. Warm Scarf applies Pierce and Damage Boost to itself on a one-turn cooldown. If you don't have this monster at rank 3, it's a way to give yourself Pierce, especially if you can turn transfer back. But you're going to see that this monster has some Pierce skills, so you don't really need a setup like this. Gamer Fox applies Pierce to itself. There it is. Deals moderate light damage to an enemy, applies Sunburn to an enemy, removes Pierce from itself. 
So again, if you don't have this monster at rank three, great skill. Even if you do have this monster at rank three, also great skill. The fact that you can basically deal damage and apply sunburn, I've mentioned this in my analysis, it's a great way to deal enough damage to where the monster almost dies and then the sunburn does the rest. For example, let's say you target a Lindworm. If you kill Lindworm, he resurrects with the revival, with the revival essence. But if you damage Lindworm enough to the point where sunburn will kill him, when Lindworm gets his turn and, and he dies and then he comes back, well, it's okay because his turn is skipped because the sunburn killed him. So great skill to potentially utilize. Light them up deals moderate light damage to enemies and applies sunburn. This is a powerful 40 damage AoE skill. Off the top of my head, I don't know if Vanos can deal 40 damage. I think he does 30 and 35. One of them does daze and the other one removes the pierce. Um, Rasulka, I am not familiar with at all, but a 40 damage light based AoE that can do sunburn, that is amazing. Tomato Power applies Spirit to itself, deals very heavy light damage to when enemy removes Pierce. This is a powerful 60 damage attack. This is going to be your OTK. Fompy Rastros are going to die, Lindworms are going to die. Powerful, powerful skill. And yes, it removes the Pierce, but that's why if you're running Gamer Fox, hey, you reapply the Pierce next turn as well, so not a problem. Calm the Waters deals moderate light damage to all enemies, applies days to all enemies. So this is just like Vanos' skills, that is AoE days. Although I do believe Vanos is actually a 30 damage, whereas you're 35. I could be wrong, but yeah, I mean, days is a great way to reduce damage output and accuracy. It only has a one turn cooldown, which is super awesome. And then we have Raider Mode, applies triple damage for one turn, and you give yourself vulnerable. So you are going to be more susceptible to enemy attacks. However, that triple damage for one turn, combined with Light Them Up, is going to be able to OTK enemy monsters left and right. So that is pretty cool. Alright, for the first skill set, the main skill set I like is the AoE, both AoE skills. I think they're amazing, light them up and daze. Phenomenal skills. And then we're going to go with, let's see, the other powerful attacks. Not the zero cooldown skills, we are going to go with, oh, I didn't run the right one. So, not tomato power, hold on, what am I doing? Alright, I want light them up in the first slot. And then I want the other AoE skill. And I think for defense you would go with both AoE skills. Oh, I'm not able to change the skills. Alright everyone, we're back. I have no idea what happened, but in the meantime, I was able to trophy climb so I could give you guys an extremely good showcase. So I am above 7,000 trophies. So with that being said, let's go light them up. AoE Sunburn, we're going to go AoE Days as well. Calm the Waters. And then we're going to go with this both single target peer skills. So that was... I think I already have one. I have Gamer Fox and I want the stronger one. The 60 damage one, Tomato Power. And I am also going to showcase using the triple damage turn transfer mechanic, maybe double Megaton. There are so many different mechanics you can use with Super Fox. Oh, we got to change our name though. All right, much better. Let's bring Fox into PvP and see how well she can perform. And for this first round, we're going to give her all strength runes. So we want to see her maximum damage output at level 130 with a laser beam sword. I'm also running my two Megaton monsters to help me out so she can get an attack in. I am allowed to do PvP. However, I'm not allowed to win because I would be totally unfair to win with a monster that was given to me fully maxed out. And look, we're taking on my nemesis Vanos. Now, here's the thing I should warn you guys about. Vanos actually is my elemental. He's the elemental advantage, right? He's metal. So Vanos versus my monster... I could be in trouble. I might take a really strong hit, but let's see how this battle plays out. Bad Moon Rising, my monster absorbed it. Bombeta is going to absorb... Okay, Bombeta can't do anything, so we're just going to go Blinding Punch. And hopefully I don't lose my monster right away. Nope, I lost it. Again, Elemental Advantage, so that's not even fair. That's not fair at all. If I was 150, I wonder how that would have been different. Also, that Vanos had a speed rune, so that's why he was faster. All right, if not with all my team speed, I would have gone first. All right, and look, another Pierce monster. It's like I'm trying to showcase my power against the other Piercers. All right, so Soul Eater and then Trait Removal, I'm assuming. Trait Disable. All right, favorite trick. I'm not going to have to do anything here, so I'm just going to go Warming Light. All right, let's test out my skills. Gamer Fox, look at that damage output. This is a 40 damage skill. That's a 140. That's a 144. That's a 150. You have Revival? Yes, you do. Tomato Power, OTK. This is a 130 with three level 10 runes, but it's OTK 144. So it's OTK a 150. Look at that damage output. Calm the Waters, this is the day skill, and then light them up. This is the sunburn skill. Very nice. So what am I going to do? I think for this specific case, I am going to go ahead and go with, let's see. Man, this could OTK. That's just insane. Let's go with the AoE skill, sunburn. So watch, if Tabora, is Tabora going to die? No, because the shield. So the way, what I like about Dots is if Tabora was to die with a Dot, when she resurrected, well, she wouldn't be able to go, right? Because she'd resurrect from dying from a Dot. The other cool thing is that, let me go ahead and recover my life. The other cool thing is, you saw my Jastar Mask in action, it drained enemy stamina. So you probably do need an ally that can recover stamina, as you're seeing, I'm out of stamina right now. 
Let's do that. Amber Dust. And we're just going to exit out. No need to continue this battle. Let's move on to another one. You know, since I'm running double Megatons, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to go single speed, actually. And I'm going to run the the triple damage skill. And we're going to replace Gamer Fox for now just to see that. But I mean, it's basically triple damage, super strong, powerful AoE skill, right? And here we have a Shelly. The cool thing about battling Shellys is depending what level they are, depending how strong you are, you might be able to OTK Shelly and even the other enemy monsters. Check this out. So just for to see damage output, tomato power, very nice. Calm the waters, very nice. Light them up, very nice. Remember, this would attack everyone. If my Pierce was removed, I'd probably be able to OTK Shelly. We're going to go Raider mode. All right, I'm going to go Warming Light to get rid of that vulnerable. And remember, there's even monsters that can do like positive effect protection. So if you don't have to get your positive effects removed, even those skills that remove Pierce, if you have a monster that can remove positive effects, you can actually protect your monster. So Amber Dust, Cosmic Grandma, and ooh, this next attack is going to be strong. Deeper Birth. All right, look at all that tanky life. Look at this monster right here. Light them up. Destroying monsters left and right. Calm the waters even. So we are going to go with our strong attack, light them up, which applies sunburn. And they resurrect, they resurrect. And then next turn, I'll finish off with my other AoE skill. So let's just go shine of the bulb. Let's go ahead and recharge. And remember, guys, if you don't have Megaton, you will be getting a future Megaton monster very soon in this month. Then I could do Calm the Waters. I don't think... Have you died yet? You died, and you died. Basically, I had OTK and finish them off. I'm just going to do Tomato Power. Remember, that removes Pierce at the end of everything. So, yeah, awesome monster. This is a level 130. And I like the three strength build a lot, actually. Um, but now let's do one Megaton. And we'll keep Daedalus. And let's put in a Churn Transfer monster. Something like a Lindworm. Let's do Lindworm. Lindworm can also revert events. So if you ever get hit with a Tabora, let's say you're running this team and Tabora removes your Megaton and then you get hit with a Trait Disable. Not a problem. Not a problem whatsoever. Look, there's Hardy. All right. So Hardy scares me, right? He has Anticipation. You know what? I don't even care. I'm going to turn transfer because I'm pretty confident I can kill. Let's see if I'm right or not. I'm pretty confident I can kill Hardy. That's a 140. Let's see. That Hardy is a... I think it was 140. It's a 144. So Raider Mode, Tomato Power, Calm the Waters, Light them up. Tomato Power is my strong attack. It's not strong enough to kill him. It was so close. But remember, 130 to a 144, which just goes to show you the, the power output. We're going to go Raider Mode to give myself the triple damage. Oh, I didn't realize I lost Megatons. <laughs> oh, my bad. I wasn't looking. Misery is removing my Megaton, but you guys get the picture. Um, she can definitely pack a punch. So here, we'll try it again. But we're going to go all strength this time, as she should. Honestly, there's no real wrong way to ruin her. Two strength or three strength. Team speed or single speed, that's the way. Do not give her any life runes. She doesn't need any life at all. All right, Megaton. Oh, this is the perfect base I was talking about. If they go first and remove and activate my cooldowns, it wouldn't even matter. So we're going to leave your Megaton. Um, yeah, we're going to leave your Megaton. So favorite trick, um, Toxic. That's fine. Revert events. I, I might still get hit with CD. That was a misplay on my part. Zero cooldown. And that's when you could run the zero cooldown skills, actually. So yeah, that was a misplay on my part. I don't think this battle is going to phase out the way I wanted it to. Invader Pitfall. Um, let's see. I don't know why I did that last time. Sequence Bend. I think she has... She has low cooldown skill. Yeah, Tomato Power is a one-turn cooldown. Calm the Waters is a one-turn cooldown. So here's the Pierce mechanic in effect. Look at that. Hit everyone. Dazed everyone. Jastar Mask. Stamina Drain. They have to recharge. She's not a denier, but thanks to that Jastar Mask, she just denied them, essentially. Here, let's get rid of your positive effects. All right, Atrophy. Got hit with the Daze. I do have the Quicksand. Again, you are a squishy monster, but light them up. Let's go light them up boom and that is for game right assuming he didn't have revival even though he does um after this boom attack and gg all right we're gonna exit out because that was a good one even though i messed up in the beginning um you saw her still pull ahead again this is a 130 that's what's that's what's so amazing to me and anytime you face a dark monster they are as good as dead oh my gosh and you can even partner her up with like here hold on let me let me do this correct let me go churn transfer right away um i'm just gonna triple damage greater mode Favorite trick, death design. I got stunned, I think. All right. Unfortunately, I got denied this time. Let's go um, revert events. Cleanse all those negative effects. Atrophy, walking over graves. Now I got frozen. Oh, man, I'm just getting denied left and right. This is where the Watts mask could potentially come in handy. All right. I think I'm trying to have too much fun, and I'm just not even looking at the actual gameplay. Blinding punch, death design. Yeah, I just got denied left and right, left and right. That shouldn't have happened. I should have just... Um, I don't know why I'm buffing. I'm just going to turn transfer and OTK. That's what I'm going to do. I'm running three strength, right, guys? All right, let's go. So, ooh, look at this. Dodge area. People think the dodge area is going to work? Nope. Not a chance. Sequence bender. And we're going to go light them up. Look at that. Calm waters. Oh, my gosh. Both of them here is light them up. 
Dodge area is gone. These bases on defense, these used to get to legendary one. After Super Fox gets released, these are not. These are going to be essentially be worthless. Who knows about the new monsters that are going to be released? The new monsters, the new Dodge area, the new Mega Taunt, um, those two, because he's also Taunt, um, those two together, maybe that'll work out because they're stronger and tankier, but Gracon and Wormlad, I think they are officially done. Look at that. Now, those, those teams are gone. Those teams are goners. All right, I think it's time to take this monster to rank um, five, but before that, let's see if I can find a dark meta monster. That is not a dark meta monster. Yeah, let's look for a dark meta, another anticipation base, something that we can use against. All right, no, none of that. All right, so here, we'll click fight. And okay, this is another, I get essentially a repeat of what I was talking about. Here, let's just remove that. All right, favorite trick, CDA. But I could always just go ahead and do revert events. Okay, and Lance kicks in, revert events. There we go, Amber Dust, recharge, some protection. Oh, you think you're protected? You think you can protect with your evasion dodge area? Why don't we light them up? Why don't we calm waters? Why don't we get tomato power? Literally, you can do everything. It would all work out. Um, I don't think I turned transferred, so I'm going to go Raider mode. Going to recharge and sequence bend. Now I have triple damage. Laser beam sword kicked in. Look at that beautiful damage output. Here we'll apply the sunburn. Kodama will die. Um, yeah, and they, they lost stamina, so they have to recharge. Uh, that is glorious. Here is a Age Overseer. All right, now you're dead. In Vegas feelings. Um, here we'll go Invader Pitfall. We'll take out Tabora. And let me make sure I don't actually win. All right, we're going to go ahead and revert events over here. Cleanse those negative effects. Got hit with a favorite trick. Calm waters. Um, tomato power. Well, he has dodge area. Um, not, neither of these do pierce. So the thing about this monster compared to Vanos is Vanos' is AoE, I believe, does the pierce. Um, here, even though... Who are we going to target? I, I guess at this point, it doesn't matter. Here, let's just end off with a calm waters. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, all right, guys. So now we got to take this monster to rank 5 and showcase her potential. All right, now that she's level 150, I'm just going to use her with my double Megaton team, but there are so many strategies you can utilize. Again, you can turn transfer. You can do a lot. Here's a Vanos. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can... I, I think the AoE at 150, I think I'm going to OTK everyone with all this with all this strength that I'm running team speed to help me go first. So let's just take, take a look at it. Yeah, look at that. Tomato power, powerful. Calm the waters, kills everyone. Yeah, Lindworm, I'm sorry, buddy. You are you are a goner every single time. Like, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Does not have revival. Why aren't you holding revival? All right, yeah. So luckily, they have Bombada, so Bombada will survive. But here's Light Them Up. And look at that. Yeah, so Bombada is going to be a good uh, Megaton monster because they're both the same element. So you can actually tank a lot more than a Shelly. And Daedalus is a regular monster, a regular mythic. So he's going to have trouble. So the new Megaton Water Monster is also going to be um, super useful. Here we have good old legendaries. Ah, uh, poor little legendaries. Check this out. Calm the waters, and they are all dead. Yeah, they resurrect because they have revival. I can kill you next turn again. Oh my gosh, this monster is so darn powerful. I cannot wait to play you guys friendly battles again with this monster and seeing what you guys come up with. Are you going to bring Hardy? Are you going to bring, like, what What are you going to do to counteract this monster? Let me make sure they have the revival. All right, this is one where uh, my two Megaton monsters really helped me out. Nope, I still got it with CDA. Those monsters, oh man. So the zero quadrant skill would be interesting to bring to see how much damage output I can do. Um, but here, let's just go. Amber Dust, Reborn Through Hate, Recharge, and One Turn Cooldown is so awesome. Tomato Power. Here, we're going to go Calm the Waters, just to daze, and there's my Relic kicking in. Um, Blinding Punch, or we'll go after you. It doesn't really matter. Invader Pitfall, Daze, Curse Stones. All right, when you're out of stamina, you're in trouble unless you have an ally that can recover your stamina for you. Um, she unfortunately cannot. Yeah, so that's a bad battle there. All right, guys, but um, should we end with one more? I think we'll end with one more. Yeah, we'll end with one more. Um, my skill set, once again, I don't really like the triple damage skill unless you're specifically planning to turn transfer into it or do something specifically to utilize the skill. But I would go double pierce skills and then I would go double AoE skills. And most of the time, you're just going to AoE, AoE or single target um, knockout. Look at that. Beautiful damage output. This would kill everyone. My goodness. Here, let's say Kodama was a threat. Single target Kodama, tomato power, dead. Just like that. That's glorious. You don't need to worry about Megaton. And again, Dodge Area is coming out. You don't need to worry about Dodge Area. You can attack whoever you want to attack. Invader Pitfall. See, I should have the other skill, but I don't. Um, but then I would have been able to single target uh, this monster, and that would have been game. So, guys, what do you guys think about Super Fox? Isn't she amazing? She's fantastic. I, I can honestly say I love this monster a lot more than Vanos 299. I think this monster is 100% going to dominate the meta or be in the meta. You're going to see this monster on defense. You might see double pierce monster on defense. You can bring this monster on offense, single target the main threat. So much strategies you can utilize. I mean, just imagine like even Master Masher and you have another monster to give bleed to the enemies, AoE bleed. Now bleed becomes such a dominant threat because 
with Master Masher, the enemy, um, when you, you have Bleed Hater on your whole team, you have a Pierce monster that can deal triple damage, so you don't even need a triple damage skill. Like, so many combos. If you guys have any ideas, anything you want me to test out, any combo, let me know in the comments below so I can test out those combos. So be sure to comment. I will be reading through the comments. Thank you guys so much, and remember to subscribe.